Hi guys, today I will make some cassava bread with raisins. You know, most of us see the cassava, but we don't too much bother with it because we cassava has a starchy taste, it doesn't appeal to us. But today, I will show you one of the uses that you can use and the benefit of this, this fruit, cassava root, that today I'll make some cassava bread and hopefully my next video I would make with the cassava, I'll make a cassava cake. That video will come after this the bread video, but today I will concentrate on making showing you how to make the cassava bread with raisins and also how to make the cassava flour so let's get started first of all we'll have to peel the fresh cassava but what i'm using now is a vegetable peeler that i use to peel the cassava with after it finished peeling then I'll dice it or chop it in pieces and we blend it. First of let me just deal with the peeling cassava at the moment. So we start peeling the cassava, skin off this fashion. It's almost completed. There we go. And the next step would be to break this cassava down in smaller portions that you can use in a blender. Step we add these to the blender. We we'll cover this with water. And this is one of the easiest steps in making the cassava flour. Covered water just blend. about a minute and that should be soft. The next step we do is we'll pour the water off or spread it. Then we have a separation of the cassava water and the cassava itself, the cassava flour. 
and be able to try to get as much of this liquid out of this as possible. I would roughly need about two cups of this, so I would have to start again by doing the same thing with this one. That's it. Now we just have to separate. Now we have the cassava flour. Our next step is to start the process in mixing the bread. So 
this is what we need to do. I need two cups. Okay, this is about two cups right here. We have a cup of two cups of cassava flour, one cup of regular white flour. We have a half teach spoon of nutmeg. We add this and we just set this aside. Then we would add our sugar. We have a quarter teaspoon of vanilla essence. We have a half cup of milk, we have four eggs, We have a half cup of maple syrup. You just have to now mix this together. Let's go ahead and fold this up. Last step would be I think we have some salt, quarter teaspoon of salt, and we can add the raisins. This is the final. You just grease the pan. And you add
cassava bread in a preheat oven at 350 for one hour between 45 minutes to an hour if this video has been of any interest to you I hope you will take the time to subscribe to my channel and also to be informed of any new content release you can hit the, the, the bell that would remind you when there's a new release and also if you have something to say negative or positive leave me a comment and I'll get back to you so thanks for watching and I see you in my next video.